Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks. This is episode 37 of the Interplanetary Voyage of Exploration. And in episode around 34 or 35 we have seen our mini EVE probe weightlifter that actually went to EVE and it ran out of or its battery short circuited it. So we were having some problems with it, so we obviously need to refactor it a little bit to be more robust. I fully intend of using this probe uh, for some other launches, but that's why I wanted to make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna be basing it on the EVE probe loosely. So first we add some additional batteries, because we are pretty much dependent on the battery on the electric charge drive, so yeah, then we will be putting remote deck antennas, three of them. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking to use this originally for the dress, but we might actually use it for uh, Duna or something as well. So it's just that the dress windows window is coming first. Uh, then I figured second, it had two problems. First was only one battery and second was that its thrust weight was abysmally low which is was something I definitely didn't like so I was thinking how to improve it and actually I come up with a solution that I want to put two additional drives but that increases our energy consumption significantly but then again I figured if we put three of them and we put some good solar panels and we use this for folding it might actually be fun so with that in mind I'm gonna put three engines and couple them with some infernal robotics and putting some near future solar panels hopefully they should provide enough electric charge for us to be able to actually do something of significance now just checking the max rotation, looks fine. We don't need the satellites any longer to be folded up or down because we will be unfolding the satellite once we get to orbit anyway. Uh, okay, and we still don't have enough electric charge because our generation is still lower than the um, consumption. Then again, we don't need to full full thrust, but then why are we doing that in the first place? So, yeah, now I'm trying to find some more solar panels that would fit the bill, basically. Mm, and Gigantors wouldn't... And there, I think I saw some that would be just fine. And I was thinking... Let's see how those would fare. Oh no, those are too big. Maybe this ones, they're high efficiency, so... Yeah, actually those could work. We'll just flip them around. And let and make sure that they're not colliding with anybody. Okay, a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, I actually like how they look. So just double symmetry, fine. And great. <clears throat> now this can fold and unfold. And it's too bulky, not too bulky either, which is great. This puts our thrust to weight to 0 0.25, which is like five times almost of what we had before. So let us just put the quickly the custom groups and then I want to actually test this. I was thinking just putting here another one, but I don't think it would fit. I just might, but it looks a little bit crowded, doesn't it? Um, so I'm thinking maybe I need just to st fix a little bit uh, the angles, but um, I don't. I won't be putting this one. Let's put, see if we can put. What's the difference? The difference is tiny. So let's see if we can put just our stock uh, or B9 actual solar panels because yeah, this might work, but then again. I don't know if this would work pretty well. I'm thinking more, I want the solar panels to be the ones that can rotate and stuff. So yeah, let's put these ones that we already know and love. Um, so just putting them a little bit up, somewhere between the 
communications dishes. Mm -hmm. I'll need to close this um, remote tech antennas. They'll look a little bit annoying, to be honest. Like when this is clipping, I really prefer not to use clipping. So, okay, uh, let's just um, close the communitrons and also from the other side, let's uh, make sure that we have correctly assigned all of the solar panels to the action groups. Yeah, put this, the, this like that. Uh, okay, needs a little bit tweaking, but hey, what the hell. Okay, close, start retracted, start retracted, and you, please, start retracted. Great. Solar panels, somewhere here. Looks good to me. Add them to the custom group. <clears throat> and I think we are ready to simulate. Let's start around 110 kilometers. Looks cool. Extracting, extending the communitrons and the solar panels. And let's unfold. Perfect. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Open the uh, remote tech dishes. You see, they're not in the way of each other. And I'm just now fixing the staging. And let us see. Thrust weight 0 0.21 of the 0 0.31. And it's three thrusters, which is actually fairly decent for given the fact that this is the interplanetary craft. Its burns will still be long, but just not as long as the one for the initial EVE probe, because that one was, we were doing a couple of orbits at least. So yeah, okay, better thrust to weight and it folds nicely in a eeny teeny, nicely, cutely packed package. Okay, that being said, I think it's time that we start adding below. So let us put the stage decoupler, or actually not a stage decoupler, but one more. I thought one more fuel tank because our delta V took a little bit dip because of the extra weight, so might as well put a little bit more. Okay, rename this to thruster block, and yeah, there is a small bug apparently with the. They now folded incorrectly. Hmm. Whatever. I'll just fix them slightly. By four degrees they're off. Hmm. But that means that they're also when it's folded they're off, so yeah. Oh well. Let's see. I was looking for the bottom stage, I couldn't find it, but then again, let's see, one point 2.5 extended doesn't work. Let's see, 2.5. Yeah, that would actually work. Let's see the fairing if it will fit. Uh, one more up. Yeah, it should fit perfectly. I could go for the further one, but I really don't want to because we have enough space to put those in. And yeah, our, un our solar panels are sticking out by a little, and I think this is something that we can fix. Especially the fact that they're normally they are sticking out, so let's put these guys above. And then let's put these guys a little bit inwards and rotate, so... <clears throat> yeah, this is a little bit refactoring, and I'm really hoping that this would be good enough in terms of Delta V to go to Dress and maybe do now, we'll see. Let's put it now to a little bit circle. Um, hold on, I actually need to fix the, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Because now it looks up upright, at least. So you know, fold it down, looks correct, put it up, looks correct, and that's it. Okay, fairing on. but it is still sticking out, even by a tiny fraction. So I wanted to actually squeeze these guys in a little bit more. So using the offset tool, put them a little bit more in. 
and then when I again opened and closed then there were some other colliders doing some issues so yeah well you win you lose hmm yeah putting a little bit this extra higher solar panels because those are the ones sticking out I'm trying to make sure that I don't clip but uh, that I put them close enough so it's always good going extra effort on these designs and it's still sticking out by a little I think a little bit more push should be done not much but at least enough so that it doesn't show if it doesn't show I'm happy we can consider it small design ch changes and fixes okay and we need to see if we can rotate these guys as well the hinges because I think now it's again <laughs> messed up a little yeah like this if we fix it like this and then fold it that's exactly what I wanted great now let us put this and it's not sticking see that wasn't too bad was it okay now we have to find the appropriate probe core and fuel tank sorry I just needed to continue my recording uh, fixing the staging just to make sure that we don't mess that one up putting up a probe core Uh, liquid fuel tank and the mainsail that gives us thrust to weight of 2.82 which is actually more than we need so let's put a skipper let's see how it does that one 129 uh, no not really let's put the mainsail anyway okay mini dress probe let's put some parachutes I'm still quietly optimistic in terms of getting the, one of those eventually back. So we, we have a probe core, we have chutes, we should put solar panels for power generation and hopefully some battery and remote deck probe because then remote deck uh, antenna then we would hopefully cover everything. So putting some batteries in yeah okay and putting where is the communitron somewhere outside this might very well be the first time that I actually managed to put everything needed so this might be the first crop that would be actually able to re-enter normally <laughs> so and it's just not that I'm not thinking it through, I just sometimes forget to add one or two because my mind is somewhere else. So yeah, it happens. Okay, thrusters, let's see, then stage separations, then fairings, then three engines and the parachutes. Hopefully it looks okay to me. Let's just put four fins for stabilization. Perfect. And one SAS unit or two SAS halves. And uh, yeah, let's see what else do we got. Mhm. Mm so this is pretty much probe refactored and I think this should be good enough so I'm thinking we should go and just build this. But uh, then again I don't see the need that we just do it just yet, but yeah, let's build it actually. Okay, it's added to the queue. And now we have another component that we want to build. And this is once again coming back to our plan for our orbital space station, which you can see here. And um, now we are again creating a small tug that will bring this station part all the way up to the actual space station, right? So um, once, hopefully, well, we have to be a little bit careful in terms of number of parts. 
so we don't hit the part count where it's no longer manageable for me to fly it, the mission. It would be damn shame. And now, so now, now I'm constructing a tug that in future episodes I won't be adding the tug to every single launch vehicle, but I'll send the launch vehicle with the component up and I will rendezvous it with a tug and just then use the tug to tow it safely aboard the st space station. Okay, now uh, we have to put the, at the bottom the docking ports, the senior docking ports, so that we can disconnect the tug. But first let us put some power generation options and so we have batteries, we have antenna and we have power generation. We have a probe, which means remote tech should be happy. And now we need a docking port, one and two and now to this we should connect the next in line of experiments which should be the zoology bay science lab is already up uh, however with the science with the zoology lab you have to have a supply of kibble and kibble is very very heavy resource so i'm actually sending up two resource two big kibble resource tanks but I'm sending them empty to save on the mass. So, as you will be able to see, I'm completely emptying out the the, the weight-wise. So, it really impacts the bottom line in terms of mass significantly. So I was thinking about it first to launch the bigger one, then with everything on, but then again we will be f sending SSTOs front and back, so there is not really the need for actually trying to cram everything in a single launch. It wouldn't be fun anyway. So, uh, yeah, just thinking out loud, to see, seeing how this, how is this heavy. I'm thinking that I will keep my kibble storage here and it will be empty. The, the zoo, zoology um, bay, I mean, the animals won't mind, I'll just go into the state of the hibernation. Okay, so now we're pretty much done assembling, and I just want to balance out with the RCS build aid the eve, the, the, this uh, small tug, that it in itself is balanced. Somewhere along here, if I put them, it won't be flipping, it will be listening, which is good. I'm just now trying to figure out where exactly is the payoff line. Yeah, and somewhere around here. Okay, solar panels are here, and now just fiddling until I get a pretty decent... Yeah, now there is not additional rotation when translation is ensured. That's was something I wanted to make sure that is handled properly. And now I put the rest of the craft and now it's just a matter of time of putting enough thrusters that this does not happen. Yeah, and here we go. When you get translation, you get translation. By the way, that's why it's for me it's so easy to actually use the docking, I just align properly and then I use directional thrusters just to get to the right spot in the space basically around. So, call it Station Zoology Bay with kibble or without kibble actually, because we're not carrying kibble with us. Yeah, I'm just reading if there's like any requirement in terms of how many uh, how many kerbals need to be on board for the experiment. Mm -hmm. Just moving solar panels by a little and actually thinking adding them more. Better power generation options, that's for sure. So, and now adding the booster stage or the lifter stage. Since it's very sleek, it shouldn't be too much of a problem putting everything within the fairing. And I'm thinking using 375 meters standard fairing, not the expanded one even. 
and it's just a matter of putting the correct launcher beneath it. And by the way, I thought, remembered to actually that I would need to put some lights because it really wasn't looking nice. It was too dark, simply. Um, final component, yep. And now it's just a matter of getting this baby back to orbit. Or, not back, but there for the first time. So I'm trying for the correct fuel tank. Both fuel and size-wise. Adding the 3.75 fuel tanks. Adding a big ass engine. And some more solid rocket boosters. This looks healthy enough. Solid rocket boosters should give it enough kick to carry it up to the point where this guy can just take over. So that should not be a problem. Four stabilizing fins, 139. And then just add boosters for good measure. At this point I was thinking maybe I should run with 1.39, but then you find 4.5 delta V. Yeah, it might be doable, but then again, why, why risk it? The SRBs are cheap anyway, so. Now just fixing the staging. I was even thinking of going with the liquid fuel tanks, but not really. So in the end I've decided to go once again with the manifold and then put the SRBs and that should be hopefully good enough. Come on SRB. Four, five, six, put the biggest one and just have them work together with the main engine. And that's 2.16, which is great. And let us just put some clamps on just to make sure that this doesn't happen. I mean that we don't fly off the tower in the wrong direction. And let us simulate. I really want to, by the way, simulate the ascent. And uh, this is the reason why I'm also curious to see how it will behave and how it will work. So without further ado let us start with the simulation and kick it Ooh. ow I think I have goofed up the staging yeah basically <laughs> Our launch clamps were in the second stage together with our fairings and everything else stuff so that might not have been the smartest idea so now I fix the staging and let us do the repeat the test again I just want to see that the rocket is trying straight and true and that everything is looking as it should be we are gaining a lot of thrust but now we're 1.52 after separating the boosters but once again like I said we have enough speed so we don't have to care about it okay 3.6 delta V which is more than enough for now until we burn and do the rendezvous okay Soon our periapsis will be out of the space. By the way, I, I have explicitly uh, stated that um, yeah, I didn't want to actually um, do manned missions too early. This is the reason why I'm first building and putting life support and everything up. And only after that am I connecting the rest of the station and then I will be ferrying the crew over. So, yeah, simulation, and it is maneuverable enough. Great, let us revert back to editor and take with us just a couple of suggestions what we need to fix. First is the staging, obviously, and the second one is putting some actual return stuff back uh, <laughs> to be able that this rocket actually can get back to the KSC. So, 
parachutes, batteries. A remote deck. Okay, then uh, once again remote deck another antenna. First was the larger Omni, then it is the smaller Omni that is always on. We need it for the ascent stage. Because if I deployed the bigger antenna during the ascent, it would basically break in the atmosphere. It would just burst. So this is why you have only one antenna, or this small one, which is actually always on. Okay, a little bit more RC or SAS, so we get a little bit more stability. This can be good, but sometimes it can be also not too good because that they um, they, they they would start colliding with each other. So it's, sometimes it's better that you just leave it out. Okay, decent delta V, I'm happy with, with thrust weight I'm also happy with, and let us build the vessel. Okay, and let us warp to complete. Dress window slowly coming up, with Duna window closely following it. Okay, and after like 30 seconds we should get the report saying that we can actually do this. Or not, but our science has increased to 457, which is definitely nice. And then we have mini dress probe. Why not create that one as well? Okay. Well, just to unlock this experiments node. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna call it an episode here. Like the video if you like the video and subscribe for more KSP content. Thanks again and good luck.